We're in Madrid at the Fuse event, which is focused on open networking. I'm here with Iago Tenorio. He is the Network Architecture Director at the Vodafone Group and Chairman of TIP, the Telecom Infra Project. And Sadayuki Abita, who is Global Head of Open RAN and OREC Evangelist at NTT Docomo. Gentlemen, great to see you in person at last. Thanks very much for joining us. It's really good to see you in three dimensions. <laughs> and welcome to my hometown. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. It's of, of course it's not, not my hometown, <laughs> but uh, very pleasure to join the, this uh, Fuse event. Okay, excellent. Um, so here at the event, uh, Vodafone has announced uh, made a number of Open RAN related announcements. Too many for us to dig into in detail here, but one of them was a new partnership, a new relationship between Vodafone and NTT Docomo, uh, focused quite a lot on systems integration. Uh, Iago, maybe perhaps you can start by telling us what this relationship means from a Vodafone perspective. Yes, so we entered into an agreement to actually share our methodology, testing procedures, and everything that has to do with system integration, to the point that we're going to be connecting our labs. So our Vodafone lab in Newbury will be connected to NTNT in Japan. We think that's important because I guess one of the outstanding questions about Open Run about a year ago was system integration and how operators are going to go about system integration. Well, this is part of the answer. So we don't go it alone. We, uh, you know, we seek partnerships with other operators that are also experienced or more experienced than us. And we share, in this case, we're going to share even the script, uh, the test script between us. Um, I think that's not only good for us, but also good for suppliers because they know what testing requirements they're going to be facing and also Chances are they only have to execute that testing once, um, and that will be valid for both of us. Okay. And uh, a bit of sound from the Docomo perspective. I mean, you're bringing a couple of years of commercial open RAN experience to this. So, you know, how is this going to work in terms of what you're going to do with Vodafone? Yeah. What, what we will then do that uh, actually is uh, Yago already mentioned. And uh, you know that the Docomo launched at uh, 5G 2020. It's a fully merged vendor interoperable round. So we have the experience of that interoperability test uh, more than two years and uh, different vendors' equipment and the different you know, type of that equipment. So we have the good ex experience and uh, we'd like to share our experience. And of course, that the Bodong has also the experience. So sharing the both experience, we can, you know, uh, the uh, minimize the cost of, the, for example, the integration or interoperability test. So I think that this collaboration is very, very important for the open uh, network world. Okay. I mean, uh, integration still regarded as probably the big, biggest single challenge for operators looking to deploy open RAN systems, whether, uh, well, particularly in brownfield uh, deployments, but also in, in greenfield as well, of course. Uh, and there's a big cost associated with this, and this is kind of, I guess, hard to quantify, but a big concern amongst the operators. Um, how can this kind of relationship and, and this kind of development help to address some of the cost concerns, the TCO concerns that operators might have? Uh, Abeda San, let's start with you. Yes. Uh, so if that the, uh, each company do integration by themselves, of course it's costly. But if we share the integration result over integration capabilities, we can significantly reduce the cost. So, you know, uh, by sharing that uh, uh, lab, we can so share, also share the result, or we can use the uh, bottom lab, or bottom can use our lab, then we don't need to prepare the specific equipment or specific combinations uh, for each uh, environment. So we can significantly reduce cost. And this is not only for to companies, we have the open share wrap that the operator can access. So that means that we can also share the result to other operators. Then we can also totally reduce the cost among the operators. Okay. So, so you're kind of leading the way, the two of you, setting the path, and then you're gonna, this is going to benefit other operators uh, through your labs, but or through TIP also, is that part of the plan? Absolutely. So uh, I think the answer to your question that Abitasan 
I think elaborated really well is you don't go it alone. So you want to reduce the cost of integration, you seek other partners in the industry. Now, what we are doing is exactly that. So we've reached out to each other and we are gonna be sharing that. Now, the first thing you need is to harmonize your testing to make sure that you're gonna be testing to the same protocols with the, even the same tools. And then you can start sharing the results so that you avoid duplication of effort. Now, with incumbent architecture, of course, that came, you know, s sorted out, <laughs> you know, out of the box because either Ericsson or Nokia or Huawei or whoever was integrating a single product for the whole industry, and the industry didn't need, never needed to worry about that. But with Open Run, it's actually down to the operators to do, as you explained. Now, if each of us do it then that's going to be multiplicated by the number of operators. The way to uh, prevent that from happening is to have operators work with each other. When a figure like TIP or any other organization came in, is when you realize that the combinations are, are, are huge. So, so operators right. can't work with every other operator because the combinatory fails. So, you may need a hub in the center, something like um, an innovation hub or a system integration hub that coordinates all that effort. And I think, it's a, it, I think it's a great challenge and a great aspiration for organizations like TIP to fill that void. Okay, well I'm sure this will be seen as good news by some of the smaller operators that need the help and resources and, and insights of other operators to, to further their plans. Um, now, at the end of, uh, you did a lot of moderating this morning in the keynote sessions, and there was a lot of talk about the challenges, but also, you know, the gains to be had, the positives of, of Open RAN. And you kind of put a challenge out to the audience, to the uh, hundreds of people that were here this morning, uh, asking if there are any Open RAN doubters to come and see you afterwards to have a conversation. Was there a queue of people waiting to have a chat with you afterwards? So far, nobody. And I've been on the floor. So uh, either they're none, or maybe they'll come later, we'll see. Right, but there definitely are still doubters. And it's not just, you're not just preaching to the converted here. There are still, I think, you know, people are not sure about, you know, why this is happening, the costs of it happening, um, you know, an announcement where, where the uh, incumbent vendors uh, become the open RAN suppliers and that necessarily isn't broadening the, the, the scope of, of choice. Are all these valid concerns? They're not just valid, but I have to say that doubters and, the, you know, and challengers is what actually keep us going forward. So that tension is nutritive. I mean, it feeds us with um, you know, new challenges, new objectives, new uh, questions for which you know, you, we need answers for. And that tension, I think, has actually brought us forward. So um, I appreciate there are still, you know, challenges. We need them. Uh, I really like them. And it's fair. So if someone, I think if someone thinks, well, Nokia is just more of the same, no, that's not bringing necessarily um, optionality or new options or new choices. Well, I don't think that's entirely fair. I think we are at a stage at which what we need to do is to accelerate Open Run and make sure that also, the presence of the different regions is also shared inside Open Run. Nokia is the first European vendor to actually adopt Open Run, which makes Open Run from today onwards natively European, which is a great thing. Uh, but other than that, we are at a phase on which we actually need Open Run to scale and take off. Uh, and having adopters like Nokia will only, you know, accelerate that to the maximum. Okay. which is welcome. Very good, okay. Um, now, one of the other things mentioned by multiple operators this morning as a benefit, a, a gain from Open RAN, is greater innovation. But, but what, does that in, what does that actually mean? Innovation where, how, with what? Um, uh, Abeda-san, Docomo has been using Open RAN technology in its networks for a couple of years. Has this allowed you to innovate? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Because, you know, uh, the, we are working that uh, not only that the existing RAM vendor, and we, also, uh, we are working for that uh, IT vendors. And uh, we also work with that, uh, so, uh, the service partners. That mean that uh, they have that uh, great experience, uh, which we didn't have. And they, they have the different idea. And, uh, of course, that uh, 
sometimes the direction is different, but that is also good because we, could, we can find a good way, the best way, working together with them. And uh, so, uh, and there are also that competition, you know, uh, the openness. There are a vendor provide that uh, so, uh, uh, equipment, but uh, every time we can uh, choose the best one, that they also need the innovative solution. Right. So many places we uh, uh, thanks to the open uh, interface, open world, we uh, have the innovation. Okay. So it's, it's opening up the opportunities, yeah. and I guess the development still has to happen, and, and there's a lot to come. Uh, and I guess a lot of people are looking at the RAN Intelligent Controller, the RIC, mm -hmm. as a, a source of much innovation. Is that where most of the innovation is going to come from, from the, from the apps that will run on the, on the RIC platform? I think the RIC is used as an example of innovation, um, and I agree, I mean, it's a good example, and it's there for a reason, because even a small company is very specialized on targeting a very specific problem inside the software, down, you know, a few layers, can come up with an application that sits comfortably, is integrated, with relatively low effort on that platform. So it's a very good example on how Open Run gives way to small companies, direct line of sight for them to deploy their products in the field, almost just dealing only with the operator. But it's only one example. If you want, you can also think of the dynamics of innovation in, a, in, a, in broader terms. So, with the incumbent architecture, the dynamics, if there is a breakthrough on PA technology or in silicon, and there is a new generation that is more efficient um, in, in terms of capacity or, or energy consumption, normally that innovation is paced depending on what sort of market share and revenue you're going to make out of it. If you are an incumbent vendor, which is established and with a market share that doesn't move too much, the incentive for you to actually invest in adopting breakthrough technology is relatively low. And it's not a criticism, it's just a simple economics. While if you give a line of sight for that company to integrate their product directly on the field, dealing with the operator only. So for instance, if a new PA comes in a radio that is much more efficient, it's down to me to integrate that into my system. So innovation will come because ultimately, is the, the decision is down to me. And I, I will make the benefit of that technology in my profit and loss if I consume less energy. Right. I'll be making that decision directly from my profit and loss, leveraging that. While before, someone in the middle <laughs> was forced to make a revenue out of it that is not always clear. Well, gentlemen, I'm. There's, we could talk for hours uh, around this because we're still at the early days of uh, Open RAN and there is an awful lot happening, but we have to wrap up now. So, Iago Abedasan, thank you very much for joining us today. Great to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.